Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you along. I'm gonna do a full what I eat in a day. A lot of these meals are truly often repeated in my weekly lineup for sure. I eat a lot of the same meals over and over again. I do like to switch up dinner, but I feel like for me, the easiest, the way that I eat the, my healthiest and on point in terms of tracking macros, macronutrients, fat, carbs, and protein is definitely to kind of stick with a few of my tried and true, very simple meals, ones that I can move up in between work and all of that. So you'll see very simple meals here, but I have had this video planned for a while, a lot of requests for it. So again, very simple recipes, nothing crazy, but this is what I eat in a day. And I also have a really fun Sunita Athletics try on haul that I'm gonna share next as well. Very first thing that I have around 6.40, 7.40, Around 6.40, 7 o'clock in the morning, I will make black coffee. I just have the Keurig. I truly do not add anything to this. Pat and I intermittent fast. Pat and I add nothing to ours. I don't want to start my metabolism until later. Basically, intermittent fasting, you eat in a certain window, typically an eight-hour window, 16 hours where you're fasted. Having anything to eat or drink, I mean, other than water. Um, but anyway, so... First up, just black coffee. And then typically my morning routine is I sit here on the couch first thing, Ruby snuggles up, I enjoy my coffee. Whether it's the weekend, whenever I wake up on the weekend, I do the same thing. I have black coffee, but whether it's the weekday or weekend, have my black coffee and then it'll be like 30 minutes later from now I will go on a big walk with Ruby I try to t take her on like a mile mile and a half walk um, every single morning I call my mom during the week um, and I'll talk to her or my sister and that is our morning routine so I am going to do all that and then I'm gonna get ready a little bit and I will share the Sunita athletics try on haul before we then move into lunch Okay, I hope your girls today is has been going well. Um, it's roughly 11 15, 11 20, and I thought I would go ahead and show the athletic, um, the Sunita Athletics items that I just recently got in. If you're new and you have never heard of them, they're a wonderful brand, a wonderful company founded by two sisters, woman led, woman created, woman founded, all of the things. And I really like their pieces because I find them to be very versatile. Some of my favorite workout tops come from them. Um, they always have really good outerwear pieces too, like little jackets you know just to wear over your workout outfit going into the gym Pilates classes stuff like that um, but I got in some really cute colorful items so I'm gonna share those next and then I usually eat my first meal around 12 so then I'll show you what I make for that too I got so excited I forgot to mention <laughs> that I do have an ongoing code with them I work with Sunita so I have an ongoing code everything is linked down below in the description box for these pieces that I'm wearing everything is a size medium um, and I love how they fit but I do have a code Brittany Ann to take 15% off your order free shipping I believe on $70 okay up first is this really cute little green set it's in the shade Viridian which I think it is so beautiful it has like this really beautiful touch of like blue green or maybe green blue but I think it's really cute I like the set together this is more of a rib material up top here in the tank top I'm wearing a medium has the pads that you can obviously remove as well and this is really just a really good staple in terms of a workout top I just love how it fits the shelf everything's very comfortable on it comes in quite a few different colors and then the shorts the shorts I believe are seven inch it's their baseline short um, so you can also get it in a five inch I'm definitely a five inch biker short kind of girl I just think it looks a little bit better on me I feel like a little I feel like a little thick in this so I feel like sometimes a little shorter length I don't know I just feel like it does something for my body I don't know maybe I'm crazy but I do really like these though and actually having them on for a little bit I'm like maybe I would wear these into Pilates because there's just really good coverage obviously on the booty and then the back of my legs so I'm gonna try it out because I think this set could be really cute in Pilates but typically when I do any kind of walking or hiking and I want to be in biker shorts I do look for a five or six inch length so it's not that much of a difference but for some reason I feel like on my body I don't know I just feel like maybe the proportions it looks a little bit better shorter for me anyways very comfortable pieces everything comes in quite a few different colors like I said I'm wearing a medium in both this has really nice pocket detailing there and then of course on the other side as well but just really good staple love this rib tank top for sure this is definitely my favorite out of the two 
Only because I need a little bit shorter of a length, I think, for the biker shorts. Okay, I threw on a, a pair of my favorite black leggings, and I love the color. Like, I feel like this just pops against black, kept on those on cloud sneakers. If you need a sneaker that is just so freaking comfortable to wear, you're walking a lot, these are them, 10 out of 10. These are, I get the hype. They're literally one of my favorite sneakers. They are so comfortable. Like, if you're doing a big trip, you need a good athletic sneaker to be in. These are them. Anyways, I love this color popped against black and then of course the white i think it looks really cute sunita these are not sunita athletics leggings i have tried them in the past they're a good legging i am so incredibly particular with my leggings i wear two brands i can leave them linked down below but they um yeah i'm not sure if i'll stray from that because i really like a compression thick tight legging that i can squat in deadlift in feel supported in so it's i'm just very picky <laughs> but i have tried the sunita one i've tried their joggers as well like I said, everything I get from Sunita, I really like a lot. Holds up well um, with wash and wear, of course. Um, but I'm just very particular with leggings. So I will leave all the options down below. But I wanted to just kind of share this because I am wearing black leggings for the other outfits. And I just really love the pop of color. Okay, up next we have the Ava crop top. This is the Sculpt Ava crop. And it is hands down one of my favorite pieces from... Sunita Athletics, I have quite a few of these and I just really feel like they're such a good basic tank top. So first off, this contrasting detailing, if you guys remember the American Eagle Airy haul that I had shared recently, I was so disappointed because they had so many beautiful colors with the white striped contrast or the white contrast and I just think it's so cute. So as soon as I saw this one, I was like, oh my God, I need it. I think it is just so perfect. I love that. It gives like a little bit of a retro 90s vibe, but I just think it looks really fun and perfect for spring. This color is just absolutely stunning. This like dragon fruit bright color. I think it is so cute. You have Chris cross here in the back but this is definitely just like a really nice tank it is a crop but you can see you don't even see any skin with me wearing a high-waisted legging so keep that in mind because I know I typically share a lot of crop tops and especially to work out and you know or sports bras and you guys kind of some of you like a little bit of a longer length this is definitely a longer length crop what I love about their Ava Sculpt, which is what this is, the padding in this is really nice. I don't know how to describe it other than it's like circular, like the actual pads, which are removable, of course. Um, they're just like a really nice shape. So I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like certain tank tops, I'm like, Does, do my boobs look weird? But with these, I never think that. It's like a very nice rounded shape. So anyways, comes in lots of different colors, including solids. There is a stunning lavender pink color that I feel like I need. Um, and then with like everything, they always have like different things to match, whether it's biker shorts or leggings. Um, you can always find quite a few different pieces in the same collection that all coordinate together. But hands down, the Ava Sculpt, definitely one of my favorite pieces to always look at um, from Sunita, see what new colors are in, all of that. Okay, and then lastly, we have the Sierra Sports Bra, priced right at $34, but if you use that promo code BRITTANYANN, takes 15% off, you're right under $30, which I think you can't beat. This is definitely really nice and great support to it with the strappy details. I love that. That gives support for the chest. Also, another really nice detail is that you can actually put a card here, so if you were out running or just, you know, class or anything like that, you can stick a card there, which is really nice. I love this color. I think it is absolutely stunning, Wisteria. I did see a one of their, I did see an upcoming collection of theirs and they have more of this color, which is just so exciting because I think it's so beautiful and fresh and with a good tan, it's gonna be beautiful too. Um, but I'm wearing a size medium in this. Again, this is one of my favorite tops that they make. They, it comes in white as well as black, but I just feel like the support in this, again, the pads are nice and circular. Um, I don't know how else to describe that. You guys just have to like <laughs> see what I mean, but I just really, really like this top. I think it is cute, great fit to this, wearing a medium. Pretty good coverage in the back as well in case you don't like any leg like, of your lower back out or anything like that. But just absolutely love these Sunita pieces. Okay, I hope you girls enjoyed a few of those Sunita Athletics pieces. Of course, again, everything is linked below, including my sizing, but code Brittany and will get 15% off your order. Like I had mentioned before, I'm typically medium in pretty much all the pieces. What I shared today, everything was medium. That is the right size for me. Everything runs true to size, but um, really excited about those pieces. I know they'll be on constant repeat and I hope you girls try them out. If you haven't tried Sunita yet, I'm really, really happy with those pieces. I'm about to make my first meal, which is going to be like a little oatmeal bowl. I look forward to this every single day. It's like a nice treat, but a great way to start, um, my day, like in terms of eating. So I'll see you guys in a few. Right, so my first meal of the day, or I'm going to make oatmeal. I absolutely love this. 
it is one of my favorite meals every single day. Um, so what I do here is I just get the old fashioned oats, um, not the minute ones. I think there's more, I think there might be less carbs or I don't know. I just always get this one. There's a reason. Um, but this right here, I do a half a cup, which is the full serving. It's 150 calories, carbs is 27, total fat is three, uh, protein is five grams. Half a cup of oats, half a cup of water then, you just always match it. So even if you do less, I would just, you just match the water to the same ratio. The oats are done. I then go in and add this protein powder to this. This is the Orgain Organic Protein. I picked this up at Costco. You can get it also from Amazon as well as Target. I will leave this links down below. Anything that I can link, I'll leave link that down below if it's like a little more unique. Obviously the oats, you can just pick up Target, Walmart, any grocery store. But this is two scoops. I personally like the vanilla. I don't really like the chocolate, but I'm more of a vanilla protein person. And um, two scoops is 21 grams of protein. Of course, I just said in the oats, it's like about five grams. And then I'm gonna add some almond butter. So this meal will get up to about 36 grams of protein. For it to be considered a meal, um, for me, I try to stick between 30 and 40 grams of protein. So I'm gonna add that in and just mix it in. Sometimes I have to add a little bit more water on top just to kind of get everything blended. Now for the almond butter, I we just picked up this one from uh, Costco as well. It's a Kirkland brand, but it's organic almond butter. And then two tablespoons, which is pretty typical even with like peanut butter. It's usually around two tablespoons, but it is um, six grams of protein. I'm gonna put on the screen what each meal ends up being in terms of um, protein, fat, carbs, and calories. Again, I'm not someone that eats by calories. I truly just eat based off of um, my macronutrients, carbs, fat, and protein. I truly, my goal right now is to hit my protein number and that's the only thing I care about. And then I love to add a good little handful of chocolate chips to it. And that is the first meal. So this is roughly around 35 grams of protein. Just remember before I enjoy this, I wanted to quickly mention that you can do lots of different combinations with this. So I personally love peanut butter and then a little bit of the chocolate in it, like chocolate chips. But you of course could do fruit. Sometimes I'll do blueberries and strawberries. I'll add in a little dash of cinnamon. Agave on top is really good too. It's a really great sweetener. Um, on days that I don't work out as much, I try to just not use as much agave as a sweetener because it is a little bit higher in carbs. But since I did Pilates this morning, um, on leg days, things like that, um, just on days that I actually work out, I don't think about <laughs> the calories or like adding added carbs or anything like that. But this is definitely uh, just one of my favorite little first meals of the day, even on the weekend too. We don't go out or something like that. Like, do we want to make oatmeal bowls? Uh, just very easy. Okay, girls, it is now around two, and this is typically when I do a coffee that I like enjoy, like add things to it. Um, because otherwise, in my black coffee first thing in the morning, I then will usually make a coffee right around this time. I'll hold off a little bit if I go to the gym, but I had already worked out today. I did Pilates, so roughly around this time is a great time to have a coffee for me, a little pick me up. So I'm gonna make that now, and then I'm actually headed out the door, but I will show you the coffee that I make. We use the espresso. Um, or the Lavazza Espresso. We just get this from Amazon in like a pack of six or eight, something like that. It's actually a really great price if you do it that way. I will leave it linked down below in case you do have an espresso machine. I have my espresso. I got this little travel container from Target. I'll see if it's still in stock because it does the job. It's perfect for coffees on the go. And I just picked up this liquid measuring cup from um, Target. So in this, I'm going to add a good bit of milk, probably like about probably about a quarter cup and then I do have a little bit of creamer I don't use a ton but I'm gonna blend this up and then I will pour it on top of the coffee first espresso I like my little overflow I'm kind of eyeballing that and then this I just do a little splash in the trick is to obviously get as much air in this as possible, so I will mix this a good bit. It's also a good time to add in vanilla extract if you want, or even like a little almond extract if you just want to enhance the flavor a little bit. I'm gonna pour this in here. Oh, that's a nice little froth. <laughs> you can see it's 
so that is it for now i am going to run a few of those errands um and then when i get back i will probably eat another meal before then later i will have dinner which i think i'm gonna make fish tacos very easy but very delicious okay i just got home from running that errand i'm gonna do a little snack um and then i'll do dinner a little bit later but other snacks I like to have on hand is definitely veggies. You can do veggies and hummus. Um, sometimes I make a smoothie. One thing to remember about smoothies though is that if you use protein powder in the oats, you're not gonna wanna use it again. You should only use like a supplement protein powder once a day. Um, so I'm gonna make a little fruit bowl. I have this all the time. We love the Okios brand, especially the protein brand, make sure to, or the protein line, make sure to always pick that up. 23 grams of protein, zero added sugar. Sometimes I add the acai on top, but today I'm just gonna do some fresh fruit. So I have strawberries and then I have like a quarter of a banana. If you store the bananas in the fridge, they last way longer, we always do that. I know I've shared this before, but we also love the Nature Valley granola protein. Again, this is 13 grams, so 13 and 23. You have 36 grams right there. If you want a little natural sweetness, agave is really good for that. This is from the Kirkland brand, um, just blue agave, a little drizzle on top. Again, this is what, if I, wasn't, if I didn't work out earlier, I'd probably skip this just because it is a little bit higher in carbs. And that's it. A nice little snack. I love this. You can add little chocolate chips to this too. So it's quite a bit later. It's like 7.30ish, which is actually quite early for us to eat dinner. Normally we eat like 8.30, but Pat got home from the gym a little bit earlier. I did Pilates earlier in the morning. We are just making some fish tacos. I We both love this. I just take mango, like frozen mango, let it thaw out, and then chop it up with some onion, cilantro, a little bit of lime juice, and then also a little bit of like a red pepper and an orange pepper. I just think it's really, really good with the fish. So like I said, we're doing a little bit of fish tacos. Maybe get the cheese out. We like a good creamy sriracha to go on top or we just picked up the cilantro lime. I've made one in the past before, so either one I think will be really good. Very colorful, one of our favorite meals. Okay, we got the Ninja Creamy, so we have been making different recipes. We're getting the hang of it. We're pretty confident at this point. It's the first phase, a little bit dusty. <laughs> it, is loud. it is very loud. We knew it, but it is way louder than we were saying. What did you make as the base for this? You're over the jet that's about to take off. <laughs> oh, it's this one. There's this and then. Oh, wait. Yeah, so just one of these, right? Yeah. And then what else? The uh, pudding mix. Oh yeah, then we do a little bit of the pudding mix. One tablespoon, I think. And then you add a little bit more of the Fairlife chocolate milk. When it comes out, yes. When it comes out. And then we're gonna add a mix in with some M&Ms. Maybe one of these guys. <laughs> Five or one. Just for the consistency purposes. Okay, here is the mix in. Normally you do a little hole in the center. I did. <laughs> okay. Okay, here it is. Pat's very pleased with the consistency. It does look delicious. Oh, it is delicious. Mm. It really is. How many grams of protein in this? You will only eat half, so 30, 15, 5, 22. 22 each serving or total? Each. We'll each be eating about 22 grams of protein, which is amazing, for, especially for a dessert. You know how I told you guys I kind of like to stick between 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal. So for this to be like a little dessert, 22 grams at the end of the day, amazing. Okay, girls, so that is it for a full day of eating. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I have, of course, have everything linked down below, anything that I oh. talked about. 
as well as the Sunita Athletics items that I shared. Everything is listed in link down below. Do let me know if you like videos like this. I can definitely incorporate more of them, maybe on like a monthly basis. Again, I know that eating what I kind of shared today was very, very simple, but that is truly kind of how we eat, like more simple meals meals that are tractable, again, with macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbs. That's kind of what we are focusing mm -hmm. on, definitely hitting our protein. 10 out of 10. I hope you girls enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you really soon in my next one. Bye. <laughs>